again so welcome back to another wordpress for beginners video and today we are going to look at how to customize your footer of your blog so at the moment this is our test blog and if we have a look down at the footer of this blog there is nothing there apart from the copyright notice and the, theme, the link to the people who created the theme um, there's no other information in there so we are going to customize this footer and the way you customize the content in the footer of your blog on wordpress is with widgets the same as in the sidebar so to change this we go to appearance and then widgets from your main dashboard and in the widgets area we have got a list of the available widgets and we have a list of the widget locations so in this one here this is our sidebar ones now most of the themes blog themes you've got will have sidebar and some will have footer widgets some do and some don't um, the footer ones are very very dependent on your theme so if you know what you want in your footer and if you know that's an important part of the design for you make sure that's something you check out in your theme before you choose the theme that you're going to go for for your blog this particular one has got three columns some might have four and some have got full width uh, footer areas as well they're getting more and more popular to put things like a full width instagram widget in or something like that so this one's got columns so to edit these columns it's very very simple um, so we just have to decide what we want to put in it so we'll have a look down here these some of these are included some of these widgets are included like by default with wordpress you've got them already and others are plugins some themes will have a list of recommended plugins when you activate them and if you've got a list of recommended plugins and you want your blog to look exactly like the theme you will need to install and activate and use those plugins to make that happen so they do look exactly the same so depending on what plugins you've got you will have some of these you might have and some of them you might not have so what i'm going to do though is just show you basically how it works so let's just say in this footer column area we want to add our own custom menu and this custom menus are actually really quite good thing to stick in your footer area especially if like this theme we've got has only got one uh, menu area included in the theme so to add a custom menu you simply choose the widget you want you pick it up and drag it over here and slot it there into the footer column you want it in and then you will have a series of settings so for this one like i said it's a custom menu so what i'm going to do is just use this one for the legal information of the website so i've already got this menu set up i know it's this one normally it stays in the top so that's why it's named top menu um so you set up any settings that you need to do and then literally press save and then that is it saved it will be there on your blog and just to have a look at it head over to your blog refresh it and it will appear in your footer as you can see down here we have now got eagle information and the menu so you can see we've got the links there to that down there so that is a menu that we have added and you can adjust these menus your custom menus you can edit any way you like so you could maybe put pages or categories or anything you wanted to put in there so if we add something else to footer column two um let's add some text so one of the default widgets that you get is a text widget which is just this one a text widget so again pick it up drag it back up here we want it in column two so if we press on this drop down arrow here to open this up and then literally we just type in the text we want to put in there okay, so this text widget that comes with wordpress as a default one it's very very simple you can use italic lists bold and add a link and that is basically it but if that's just very simple text it's absolutely perfect so we've added that one in there and then if we add some social icons in there as well 
Right, this one is a plugin, Social Icons by WP Zoom, um, and I will put a link to that down in the video description. So I'll just add that one up here as well. We'll put it down there. And if you've put your i if you've put your widgets in and you want to move them around, it's very very simple. You just literally pick them up and move them. Just drag them. So you can put them wherever you want in the list. You can arrange them however you like. Right, so this widget has got a lot of different settings that you can change. So I'm just going to change colours. Change it black and hover colour to grey. Um, and as you can see, so there's all the different settings, so I'm not going to worry too much about them because that's not what we're talking about here. And we've got a list there of what it looks like. So I'll link, like I said, I will link to that widget in the description. So again, when you change any settings that you need to change, make sure you press save or you're not going to see them. And um, we'll add that there. And if we just very quickly just add an extra one in there, let's put recent posts in there or something. Right, so we've added recent posts again. You can choose whether you put a title in or not, how many posts you want to list, and then if you want a date on there or not. So that's a very, very simple one. And there's lots of other plugins as well that you can. You may choose just specific categories, you can include thumbnails and all sorts of things. Um, right then, so that's saved. You don't need to sort of do a, a bulk save or anything on here, you just save each widget one at a time. And then to see these in action again, head over to your blog and click refresh. As you can see, we've now got a nice footer, put some contact information on there, custom menu, and just my recent posts down in there. Now, obviously, what you put in there is dep entirely depends on what you need for your blog thanks very much for watching and if you hit subscribe you'll be notified when any more wordpress for beginner videos are uploaded thanks very much